Hey guys, welcome to Cadex FPV channel. We know many beginners choose analog camera as their first option while trying FPV at the very first time. Recently, we found so many people eager to know how different they are, especially under the low lights and night vision. Today, Cadex Studio will bring you everything you want to know about them. At the end of this video, a recommendation will come up with for your easy decision. Let's rock it! Now, we see from the left to the right is Farsight, Gazer, Rotel Pro, and Impro. All of them belong to Cadex Analog Camera. You can see their sizes are all around 20 millimeters. But the sensor size of the Farsight I have now is 0.5 inch. Smaller than other three ones. The other three cameras are all 1 over 1.8 inches. This small box is AI box, not VTX. This is one part of the camera. Because the function has become more powerful, a separate module is needed to process the image quality. This is the first in the industry and the most advanced AI image quality enhancement solution. So, when installing, you must reserve space for AI box installation. And AI box has several very important functions. First, although AI image processing, the image clarity can be greatly improved in low light environments. Se second, through AI multi-frame algorithm, balance the image quality effectively suppress the overexposure or under exposure problem of black key things and return the details of the whole picture. Third, convert the image captured by the camera into an analog signal. Fourth, it is equipped with power GND, CVBS and other interfaces to support multi-dimensional external expression functions. In addition, Digital zoom function is innovatively integrated on Farsight and Gazer. Let's take a look at them one by one. First, yep, today our first row is Farsight. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's focus on Farsight's airbox. It mainly provides an air algorithm for one to eight times zooming. Yep, one to eight times zooming. Let's Okay, Farsight's cam is one industry-leading FPV smart zooming cam lens, making sure image quality during zooming. Okay, next next body is Gazer. One, two, three means three times zooming. Of course, not as strong as Farsight. However, if if I mean if it is put at night, this little body will become a tough guy, very very tough guy. Yep, you will see a full color night vision. Giant, at the time, it will be a giant, an ultra low illumination. Still, yep, let's look at the air box. Air image quality enhancement still will be brought by the air box. This is an industry leading night vision, yep, especially full color night vision analog cam. Yep, now, now, yep. Let's see the Rotel Pro. It is positioned as an entry level night vision analog camera. Although it does not have an airbox, its night vision performance could not be underestimated, and it is the most cost effective choice for you. Yeah, next, let's see the last cam today. It is the industry's first black and white night vision analog camera. Yep, that's the infra camera. This guy is the longest and it allows you to see the surrounding environment and perform FPV flight in a completely dark environment because of its position as an infrared one. Now, it's time to compare the size for each airbox. In terms of thickness, infra is thicker than Farsight and Farsight is thicker than Gazer. Yep, let me put them back. 
Well, 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 if you watch until here, you are lucky, very, very lucky, because next step, we will show you actual cam performance of all of them, yep, from the day to the night occasion. Let's see it.